sometimes I see people get saved and they kind of just stand there and maybe that's fine if that's mm -hmm. how God does it. But, but the Bible says that he who has forgiven much, loveth much. I kind of knew the bags he was going to have to forgive me of and the baggage I was carrying to the altar. Um, I said, God, you're going to have to love me hard because I've done a whole lot. And I knew how many people I had hurt. I knew how many things I had done wrong. And uh, when they told me that he was going to forget all of it and start over, I, I just, I mean, that just, that touched me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got about three minutes before we go to the song, but was there someone praying for you? Uh, you mean uh, somebody, somebody praying Somebody you knew, or your mother or someone, do you know wow. of anyone that was praying for you? I don't know. Uh, I can honestly say I'm one of the first in my family to do a lot of things. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure they were praying, probably, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, I know this. A lot of the time, I would have these strange encounters with people, and they would invite me to church. At the uh -huh. oddest times, I had a guy that came on my job uh, as a temp and, and invited me to church, and he was only going to be there for two days. But somehow, he kind of convinced me that I should go try this church, and then he was gone. But he came right at the right moment of my life. And so um, I guess that's what touched me the most about God is that when, I ain't, when I'm not even thinking about coming to Christ, he never stopped thinking about me. What about that? I'm not even thinking about it. And he never, I was never off of his mind for a second. Mm. So um, that's what made me feel special. God, I never gave you any attention, but you always had this day in mind for me. And um, that's what we're here for. For the young and the old alike, the whole world is searching for answers. And what I want you to do is we're not going to put our faith in a religion. We can't keep all the rules. You know why God gave us the rules? To show us we couldn't keep them. He, that's to show us we need a Savior. Amen. The law condemns. But what Jesus is trying to give you is his grace and his mercy and his love. Amen. So right there where you're sitting. If you're sitting with a loved one or if you're sitting by yourself, this is going to be the greatest day of your life. And you are going to notice something new because not only are you going to have a new perspective on life, but you're going to have a new person living on the inside of you that's going to show you who you are. You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made. You are a child of the Most High God. Hallelujah. You may be 60 years old and never accepted Jesus today. But I want to encourage you, just bow your head with me, right there in your home, right there in your hospital bed. If you're sick, put your hand on the hurt place. If you need a healing, just lift your hands and you don't have to pay for a healing. It's free. If you've been going crazy in your mind, put your hands on your head. The chastisement of peace was upon him. He's concerned about your peace today. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the free gift of salvation tonight. And God, I pray that you would move through these TV cameras into every home and every residence and every place, God, where these people are meeting us today. And do what you did for me, God, and show them the unmistakable power of your resurrected Jesus Christ. Now say this with me. Say, Jesus, I put my faith in you. I've searched the whole world and I couldn't find nobody. Nobody's greater than Jesus. And I just want you to say, say, Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. It's that simple. If you prayed that prayer, I believe you got born again. That means you are now in the kingdom of God. That means starting right now, he has forgotten your sins. As far as the east is from the west, your sins are removed from you and you can enter his throne room boldly. When you say your prayers at night, say these things boldly and know that God has forgiven you and he's glad you came home. The whole heaven rejoices when just one son comes home, one daughter. So I don't know how many people just received Jesus, but I'm sure it's more than one. So heaven must be having a crazy party right now because you finally came home. And I'm encouraged to know and to just, I'm excited for your future because I know it's great in God. Amen? Amen. Amen Pastor.